Hey everyone, it's Argonath here from The Right Way, and we've got some um, news out of New Zealand. If you're interested in politics in New Zealand, um, the National Party leader, the, op the main opposition party leader, has been um, uh, rolled. Basically, she's lost a vote of confidence in her, and uh, a new leader will be appointed. So, we'll have a read of this particular article. Um, before we start, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, you're welcome to give it a thumbs down. And if you like my content, please subscribe as well. Um, now, personally, I am a National Party supporter. I am a Conservative. Um, and in my opinion, I think she's done a pretty good job. Um, but she has made some mistakes, but no one's perfect, right? So let's have a read of this article um, and see what's happened. So Judith Collar leaves Parliament in a hurry, says she's feeling very good, and I think she's done a pretty good job um, against a lot of um, hardship. So let's have a read of this. The post-National Party leader Judith Collins has already left Parliament saying she feels very good and has no regrets. Collins last night demoted National Party MP Simon Bridges, a former leader of the party, over a complaint from fellow MP Jackie Dean about comments he made five years ago, which Collins said amounted to serious misconduct. The move proved fatal to Collins' leadership. Probably a mistake there from um, uh, Judith Collins, but I think that um, Simon Bridges was planning to do a leadership coup anyway, so I don't think it would have made much difference, but it probably doesn't look too good on her to bring up something that happened five years ago. Uh, on Thursday morning, the National Party caucus met and considered a no-confidence motion against Collins and deposed her after 499 days in the job. Deputy Leader Dr Shane Retty assumed as interim leadership role, and the new leader for the party will be decided next week. Now, Dr. Shane Reddy, I have a lot of time for. I think he's a really, really good politician. He's really, really intelligent. And I can see him becoming the leader of the National Party. But I think it's a little bit too early for him to assume that role, especially because it's a poison chalice at the moment with all the um, bad things going on in the National Party and the fact that everyone in New Zealand is so scared of COVID that they're just voting Labour um, blindly because they're apparently keeping all the deaths down and it's only due to labour. Uh, Colin speaking to reporters while rushing out to a taxi outside Parliament's doors on Thursday afternoon said she felt very good actually. It's a really hard job, I've done everything I possibly could and I just wish everyone well and I think that is absolutely correct. It's been extremely tough for her because when she came in all of the left-wing media in New Zealand, all of the left-wing mainstream media, the liberal lefties, bleeding heart liberals, they were all against her from the start. No one really liked her because she was quite confrontational and um, she was very uh, confident in her abilities and they didn't like her very much. Especially the odious Tova O'Brien on the TV3 News, who's the political editor there. She is a garbage human being. Basically, she has done a hit job on Judith Collins forever, since Judith Collins came in um, to the leader of the National Party. So 499 days. Has there been a week that's gone past without some sort of hit piece out by Tova O'Brien about Judith Collins' leadership or her bad poll ratings or whatever? Basically, Tova O'Brien has been on a single woman mission to destroy the National Party and in particular destroy um, Judith Collins. I believe she has some sort of... Um, there's something there with her and Jamie Lee Ross because she was quite positive about Jamie Lee Ross when that whole um, scandal blew. Um, I won't go into the details if you don't know what that is, but anyway, um, I can't stand Tova O'Brien. Um, I don't know if any of you do, I'd love to know in the comment section if you do, but um, she was, I think, a big part in um, the poll ratings for Judith Collins being so low because she's been doing an absolute hit piece on Judith Collins, and basically Judith Collins can't really fire back because the mainstream media, the biased mainstream media in New Zealand, don't really give her the space required to uh, make her points known. And they just tend to twist her words anyway. After she regretted issuing a statement about demoting Simon Bridges, she said never. In an earlier series of messages posted on Twitter, Collins confirmed she would remain the MP for Papakura and would test the seat in 2023. I'm pleased that I'm just the MP for Papakura again. It's been a privilege to take over the leadership during the worst times and to do so for 16 months. It has taken a huge stamina and resolve and has been particularly difficult because of the variety of factors. 
I knew when I confided in when I was confided in by a female colleague regarding her allegation of serious misconduct against the senior colleague that I would likely lose the leadership by taking the matter so seriously. Um, Colin's removal was from the top job was lamented by an ally of his MP Simeon Brown. Again, just talking some nice things about her. Um, not all shared Brown's view of Collins. National Party MP for Taranaki, Simon O'Connor, said Bridges, who was Bridges' brother-in-law, was outspoken from his disdain for Collins' actions, insisting she must resign, not only as leader. Of course he's going to say that. He's the brother-in-law of Simon Bridges. So of course he's going to say, come out in support of Simon Bridges. Ridiculous. Anyway, that's the news that's happened. Let me know what you think. Um, are you happy to see um, Judith Collins go? Do you care because you're late? If you don't care because you're a Labour Party supporter, supporter, that's fine as well. Um, I'm sad to see her go. I think she's done a pretty good job. Um, and I don't think there's anyone else in the party that would do a really good job, apart from uh, Dr. Shane Retty. But I don't think his time is right now. He needs to come in later uh, once he's had a few more years of experience. I'd hate to see him come in now and then get absolutely chewed up by the political media and so on and then spat out because I think he's too good a person, too good an MP, and too good of a leader to have that happen to him. You know, let me know what you think. Uh, do you have any, um, if you're into New Zealand politics, do you have any um, comment about who might be the next um, leader for the National Party, who would be a good choice? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, give this video a like. If you don't like the video, you're welcome to give it a thumbs down. And um, hopefully I will catch you in the next video.